Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. communication of our desire for true revival. Yahweh. Yahweh. That's all. Just a very simple song. Christ say, Yahweh. the veil. Let the veil be rent into two and let us see deeper. Holy is the one who reigns. Holy is the one who reigns. Worthy is the one who sits up fire. Sheba Kapradila Manakata. Come on, just press and let's worship for a while. There is a spirit of worship. Adonai, 
You're the Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. This is our travail tonight. Let your kingdom Sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in tongues. We sing to you a new song, O God. We praise you mighty God I tell you the portals of heaven are open mightily over this place the hunger of a man can draw the presence of God and when he shows up you are changed as we bask in your glory oh God let us be changed we are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow we will travail until we see the glory of God arise upon this nation upon the continent of Africa 
we travel on behalf of Nigeria, the firstborn of God in Africa. We will not sell our birthright, but we will contend to represent authentic apostolic Christianity in the nations. We strive to see your kingdom come. This is our desire, Lord. Beyond everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be opened. When his kingdom comes. Then once again we will hear the authentic sound. Of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion. And every noise of tradition and falsehood. the building of a ministry not the fame of men of God we seek only one thing that we become envoys of your kingdom men who are furnished by the fires of the spirit men of understanding and power men of light give you praise tonight I pray that the bread of the spirit be broken we contend for the hallowed bread of the spirit show us deep things oh God cause our eyes to be open reveal your glory in strange dimensions open us up oh God let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. May we become mighty men. May we become mighty men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please greet one another and be seated. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It was a great time of worship. Please be seated. Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit. We are not chasing after shadows. We are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in him. Not just what he can give 
not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah we are the hope of this world you must believe this don't ever think you are little for in the days to come even the the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men gross darkness will come upon this earth it's already happening but the bible says upon you it says you will arise and you will shine not only will you shine the light you will become the light hallelujah the secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation there is nothing else that can make a man grow the bible says that when god made man in the garden of eden the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the garden they were not eating it for hunger they were eating it because it had the capacity it was called the tree of life it had the, the capacity to give life and that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God so as we receive the word of God there is an unveiling of the reality of this life this Zoe life that we talk about hallelujah praise the Lord I'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed people did not know that this was how far god would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising There's an army There's an army Rising up To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army We're rising up. Break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi, the prophet, started speaking and he said, There will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, Shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know? That the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin. It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king. Jezebel was a witch. She was not a wife. That's why she reappears in Revelation again. In the book of Revelation, Jezebel reemerges again. Hallelujah. The personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system. Hallelujah. And the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. 
the prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God suddenly a strange man without origin just imagine the Bible says and Elijah the Tishbite from where he came we don't know we don't know who where he was taught the things that he knew the bible says he was a representative of his spirit elijah represented the sword of god and the bible says when he showed up he showed up for one assignment to conquer that she goddess and afterwards he left who is this strange man because we see him reimagine again jezebel is still in revelation elijah is still in revelation where did he come from did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite rose up as a cry. The prophets of God were suffering. Only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called Obediah. No prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of God. And the Bible says in response to their cry, one great prophet, Elijah the Tishbite. A single man who terrorized the system of Jezebel and brought her to her knees. And the Bible says, before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come back again. But he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation. Are you getting my point? And is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the Old Testament. Nobody understood. Nobody knew about the training. He was, he was a strange manifestation. The Bible says, Elijah the Tishbite. And this is the making of Elijah's. The spirit, the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise. This is how his kingdom will come. Hallelujah. And Elijah the Tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system. I need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of Elijah. This authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of Elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of Elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of Elijah is to come in with a dimension of God that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why I raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the Elijah spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge. Hallelujah. But that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives. We have said this is a season of light. And brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there is a level of light that you carry. You become a threat to the kingdom of darkness. This is what we are training. We are training you to become a light. A light. You will be so bright, the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we lose just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we lose just like him God is birthing something strange 
in these days God is revealing something new in our midst He won't stop He won't stop until we look just like Him He won't stop He won't stop First Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Stop. The Bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what? Deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Very interesting. It didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons. Doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons. Verse 2. Speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron. Verse 3. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. The last verse was for. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving. Let's just stop there. Hallelujah. We're examining three things tonight. Tonight, we're going to be studying the scripture. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I receive light. When when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your english it's not your degree hallelujah but the degree of light the degree of light when you see the spiritual structure of a believer you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light are you following me now so at the mount of transfiguration jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was are you getting me it was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it and every time we come before his presence by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light and the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in the latter days verse one again please that men will give room to deceiving spirits who are these spirits where did they come from what is their ministry please pay attention brothers and sisters we are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency in every generation there is always a contention of light and darkness there are people who just go around as social beings but there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error 
that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God if Elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ the continent of Africa and especially our dear country Nigeria Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa we are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality hallelujah and it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church. You can get it and listen. A departure from not, listen, listen, please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man are you following me now there is a pattern God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way it has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him so apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of god and the bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith what faith christianity no 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 god never called us christians what is the faith the pattern there is a pattern that our fathers followed they knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot jezebel is is prospering on our pulpits in our churches across different places and the prophets of god the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until elijah rises and that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of christ back to pattern otherwise we are going to lose it and we'll miss it not just as a continent not just as a nation but as a people hallelujah say amen thank you jesus matthew 13 verse 25 matthew 13 jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church matthew 13 let's start from verse 23 or 24 let's let's make it 24 and another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed that man listen that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did it start? It started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern 
but something happened 25 the first four words one two go but while men this is how the spirit of the antichrist began to enter the church he began to cause men to sleep the bible says that a time came when the eyes of eli started getting dim and remember the bible says the eye is the light of the body that means if your eyes closed there is no more light no more illumination there's no more access to divine things and the bible says that the eye of eli started getting very dim and that continued until it got to a point where men slept hallelujah while men slept when they began to intercourse with babylon when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of god the bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits are you following me please and they started embracing the doctrines of demons and men slept and then the enemy came and did what so tears this is what is happening to the nigerian church there is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit and all of them are being mixed in our churches in our parishes in our assemblies and right now there is so much confusion it will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of god hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what appear that means when they sowed it it was there as a tendency but it had not yet manifested are you getting my point now a lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of god but they did not stay in the spirit for the holy ghost to keep walking walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like christ eventually as the ministry started expanding as the membership started expanding they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing verse 27 it says so the servants of the owner came and said sir did you not sow good seed in other words who gave these pastors this message where did this rema come from where did this doctrine these revelations that we have built ministries we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right. Because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God, he said, no. The, see, he said, the enemy has done this. And the servant said to him, do you want us to go and gather them? That means should we start pruning? He said, ah, in the midst of these tears, there are genuine people. They are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation. So let them grow. Verse 28, 29 now. He says but he said no less while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will 
have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of God and except the spirit of Elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest I will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what this is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to bond them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so these men began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. Paradventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for, trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say, marry me. She didn't say, sleep with me. She didn't say, give me money. Are you following me now? she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he will conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out 
that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes i need you to know that all these women you see in the bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that i want the head of john the baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation this is the error that many people have carried they have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate but the spirit of elijah comes dividing the word of god accurately hallelujah all through scripture we'll do a quick drive if it's possible as we as we continue and let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle the battle of light and darkness are you getting my point now for instance the bible tells us that before the coming of the lord again there will be a repetition of the days of noah did you read that in your bible what happened in the days of noah because you see when satan fell when satan fell there are so many things in my head now Let, let's just continue wherever we stop do you know what satan told the angels that made them to comply don't you think satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him are you getting my point now because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah 8 uh, in, in 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 um uh what now isaiah 14 now i will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Where do we start from? Okay. Are you getting my story now? And then, when Adam and Eve, when Adam knew his wife, and she gave birth to Cain, listen, please. 
Satan thought that Cain was going to be the person that God will use. Because they, he knew that God would need a man. Are you getting me? So Satan entered Cain. Are you getting my point now? See, I'm talking of the activity. Please, let's go to 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 again. The, I want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits. Can you see where it started from Lucifer? Deceive the angels. Are you getting my point now? And they came down when man fell. Deceived Eve. Satan always changes the patterns of God. Because every time God, when God designed family, please listen. And, and, and ladies, you have to listen. This is a very powerful message. When God designed family, I hope you know that God made man the head of that family. Is that true? That means any correspondence through God, according to his structure, should go to the man. Notice how Satan changed it. Satan went to the woman. Are you getting me? And everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit, the woman there, that figure tries to usurp it on the man. Jezebel. Are you seeing now? Herodias. And all of these kinds of people. This is what the Bible calls the devices of the enemy. Stratomai, the Greek word. His methodology. It may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons. But the pattern is the same. That means when you sustain the eye of prophecy, you can detect him at once. Are you learning something, please? So Cain is born and Satan makes a bargain with Cain. And Cain begins to manifest another spirit. And then the Bible says how that Abel shows up. And Satan, suspecting that God may use Abel, began to move Cain to kill Abel. Are you seeing why Cain? Why will Cain kill his brother? See, it's time for you to begin to study the word, not just to get sermons, but for spiritual knowledge. Ask questions. Why will Cain just kill the, his brother? What for? Are you getting my point now? When Cain killed his brother, in a passage of time, the Bible says Cain started building a city. The Bible never told us that Cain was an architect. What made him to start lusting after building a city? It was the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you seeing? Because God wanted to build a city and name it after his son. So the spirit of the Antichrist through Cain built a city and named it after Enoch, his son. And that was where atrocity started from. Are you getting my point now? And then it got to the time of Noah. God suffered long with them. When it got to the time of Noah, listen to me, listen to me. Noah was a very strange man. He was not just an old bald headed man. Noah walked with God. Are you getting me? Noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark. The ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth. It was a prophetic message. Are you getting my point now? Noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation. He talked with God. He communicated with God. He understood the mystery of the flood. And that was the reason why, listen please, listen, listen. When they came out, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, there were eight people again. Satan started looking for somebody else to enter. Are you getting my point? So Satan entered Ham. Are you getting my point? And the Bible says he saw his father's nakedness. He did not just see his father's nakedness. It's a coded word. He saw into the secret of what Noah was supposed to preserve. Why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants? Is that cost not too much? Just for seeing a man's nakedness. What of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things? It was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness. It was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for. It was, it was every time men shifted from God's patterns, they suffered. This was why he caused Cain. I mean harm. And the cause that was given to Ham, if you read your Bible very well, was that he was going to serve his brothers. Is that true? Now, Satan found expression through Ham. Go to Genesis 11. Don't you, I mean, you don't need to open it. But go to Genesis 11. What happened? Suddenly, another wizard who was the son of Cush 
who was from the lineage of Ham. Are you seeing now a man called Nimrod? Nimrod, strange man, just appeared from nowhere. A man who commanded such power. He was a lord. Are you getting my point now? How did Nimrod gain so much influence? And the Bible says Nimrod was a hunter. We never saw one animal that Nimrod hunted. What was he hunting? I will show you in the book of Revelation that he was hunting for souls. Because Satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way. So he says, let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them. Are you, are you getting my mystery tonight? Bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom. There are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear. Are you getting my point now? The problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together, it doesn't make sense. Listen, listen. I think I was talking to um, the, the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman. They came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things. One of it is this faith thing. I believe in faith, but I've said this thing again and again years ago. That faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers i trust god that will arrive safely i've never learned how to fly this plane but you guys just sit back sit back and 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 and, and, and enjoy there's jehovah Jireh, there's jehovah sikenu there's our banner and all of that and then the people sit down and say hallelujah let's just be confessing we will arrive we will arrive plane corporate we are now at three thousand feet nobody does that are you getting my point now so faith is not a mystery it has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that god said it i may not understand it i don't care i want i don't want to understand it all i know is that satan is the bad guy jesus is the bad guy we are for jesus let's win him this is what americans are are shipping into nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people Whereas the Bible says, do not be unaware of the stratomai. Satan is not an idiot. He has a, a strategy. This guy stayed close to the presence of God. Are you learning something tonight? So you see it, Nimrod Kush. He said, go to let us build a city. Build a city again. The same city that Cain tried to build. And then the judgment of Noah canceled everything. Now he says, let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves. Listen, when you study Bible history, please listen. I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft. Are you following me now? Don't say it does not concern you. The word is making you mature believers. Are you getting my point now? Do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft? Nimrod Kush, according to Bible history, was the son of Kush who married a woman called Samiramai. Are you getting me? And because, listen please, this is very, very important. Samiramai was a witch. These were people that were possessed. They were incarnates of hell. Are you getting my point? Envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God. Samira might killed Kush, her husband. Are you getting me? And Satan came and interpreted this thing. Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the, 
the do I call it the genetic code of human beings Nimrod married his mother can you imagine now the son I don't know what what they are going to call the son now huh his mother is still his grandmother as ugly as it is listen this was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod Nimrod was a hunter of souls his job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself because in Revelation when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with it called the souls of men is that true is that true there's no time you see this time thing I wish like I feel like busy seeing this watch praise God <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise God Kai, this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because I want us to get it praise the Lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when Saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word, but I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person i want to show you how they use necromancy and when they do that they invoke that and the bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and saul and saul told her, i said who do you, do you see him tell me about his appearance and saul from and samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is saul and she turned she said ah, ah. Are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like mere men. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Diviners and different people. Let me tell you something that happened. See, most of these entities that you call, how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits? Have you heard that word? Disembodied spirits. What does that mean? That means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we have time can i talk to you see the Bible says, listen, demons are not the, uh, they are not the only 
wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself listen I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen. How many of you have seen certain people, maybe those who do a lot of occultic things, when they leave their body, they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body. You know why? Because they must return the same way they left. If you shift their body, they are not dead, but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying there are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm please listen to me i want to tell you some things that will bless you we said this is a year of light this is solid meat light that keeps you in command dominion will happen naturally you don't claim it light brings you into it are you getting my point we are we are demystifying this deity called satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church listen satan led these demon spirits are you getting i mean angels now are you getting my point now this was what because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves is that true that means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do a loan it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right please make sure you are listening this is not let me tell you something with revelation if you get too used to it the devil can use it and kill you are you getting my point he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you will begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help. this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence come at this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men 
what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human I, one little boy called Frodo that carried the ring, a symbol of authority. All the other kingdoms backed him up. These things are spiritual messages. These scientists through, through zodiac and, and astrology and all kinds of divination, they can peep into spiritual things. It's not that they know the future. Are you getting me? How do I put it now? Help me. Look at me. How many of you know which country is ahead of Nigeria, time-wise? What? What is UK? How can you say UK? Us, let's, let's just assume, please listen, we, we don't have time. Let's assume Australia. How many of you know that when Australia is saying 18th, we are still in 17th? So that ability to peep ahead, that's what happens in the realm of the spirit. Because of the regulation of times and seasons. Are you getting my point? It, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us over Take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place. Take us, Lord. That's where I wanna be. Take me to the place, the place you are. The secret, place. the secret place that's where I want to be that's where I want to be let's rush error number one I touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but I just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way I want so I want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be L listen to me I don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even we the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people the story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cds free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these, these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane I saw Jane. She was crying in hell and she could talk. Crying. 
have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you getting what i'm saying A lot of people came with revelations. Those of you inside, outside, if you are hearing me, shout praise the Lord. Listen. These revelations are destroying churches right now. Destroying families. Are you getting my point? People came, ah, you went to hell. Why did you go to hell? Your skirts didn't reach here. Why did you go to hell? Okay, um this pastor you are supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again he was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell i will show you the mystery of what is happening i wish we have time tonight i would have shown you something powerful is the strategy of the devil the people are innocent are you getting my point don't be angry at the people they do not even know that they themselves are under deception paul says i was caught up to the third heaven that means there are other heavens there is the astral realm there are a lot of other realms there are galaxies all of these galaxies and planets i hope you know some of them have inhabitants this is the mystery of aliens this is the mystery of aliens there is a lot of story we don't know in the earth they just gave back to you in the middle of history is what they taught you from social studies to what again social science history government and then you read political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm there are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings they are moving like you they talk you've eaten with some of them in the restaurant they are not pure breeds these are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming i read an article as far back as 19 i have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground is that true they went underground and they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people and there is an altar in the middle when you stand in that altar and talk they will hear you everywhere no mic verified scientifically don't you know there is a world under the earth philippians chapter 2 that every knee is not just talking about hell alone what have they not told us brothers and sisters that is responsible i will show you how this applies so that you will see how your family got into it your innocent father from the village was just moving around nothing missing nothing broken he entered into what he didn't understand look at what a lot of believers are suffering it today and one of the error one of the error that i wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws many of us have listen listen and i don't say this to criticize there is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message i've said this thing again and again please don't be offended i'm just telling you the truth in love there is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping 
and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things i will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again there are things i will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down and later you say in the name of jesus and all of these kinds of things we will explain it when you understand this i'm telling you you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down i want to go i want to no no it's not it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver tosin for instance i lay hands on her and she rolls 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we're there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named lazarus listen every time jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience you understand in jesus's parables he described men by what they did not their names which was laid at his gate are you seeing the contrast now it says full of what source verse 21 and desiring to be fed with the crumbs so on and so forth 24 okay no 23 i saw something i'm looking for there ah we've gone far can we go to 22 let's start from there and it came to pass that who died that's lazarus right 
Lazarus died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. That's another issue there. Hallelujah. And the rich man also died and was buried. So two of them died. They've now left the earth. Let's see the drama that happened. 23. And in hell. So a definite place. Hell. Is that true? He lifted up his eyes. Being in torment. And seeth Abraham afar off. Alright. That's Abraham's bosom. And I'll tell you why. And Lazarus. Hey. I had a revelation brothers and sisters that opened me up. Do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that Abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true Abraham slept with Hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic I said come on ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying it is the deadness of his body and this this guy slept with with uh, Hagar and Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place see when I show you these things and as we explore you will see ah, may God help and redefine our Christianity you will see that Jacob was not a thief Jacob was replacing what happened between Isaac and Ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called God of Abraham Isaac and Esau it's called God of Ab didn't, is God blind? Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seared Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. All right, 23. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the, fin dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame um, that flame is not just fire like you know because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here so what kind of fire will torture their spirit body it's not just the kind of your fire here spirits can walk through this fire are you getting me this is a strange kind of fire it's a fire that causes thirst when it destroys you it not only are you going through pain but it makes sure that there is thirst it can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst and it's very frustrating look at this guy he didn't say let him send um something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and abraham said son remember in your lifetime you receive good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time Hades Abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said listen I pray thee therefore father that that would they send him back to the earth are you seeing now send him back to the earth to my father's house so let's see see let's walk with what the bible says is that true do you believe the word of god you believe is the final authority and you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy so let's examine the word of god 28 for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you their hearts will melt and they will change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not God's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth. Abraham was saying, listen, this is not a normal route of God's dealings with people to make them grow. Are you getting what I'm saying? Abraham said they have Moses, the law, and the prophets. They are, they are preachers already. They should listen to them. Verse 30. 
and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they return he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf he gave satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it i think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see Yvonne, it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that he's killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation 
so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the bible talks about a man called apollos he was a learned man in acts 18 the last few verses and the bible says but you knew only the baptism of john is that true and then aquila and priscilla came they called him and they expounded to him more perfectly and he was humble enough to receive and then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently there are lots of people in the body of christ who are under bondage terrible bondage that innocently came but it's a product of the spirit of deception for instance there are many people who believe that if i let me use a lady come if i give this lady a hug more ah this this may be a problem i've done something i've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because i have to shift to that religious mode listen please i'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of christ salvation is personal your dealings with god is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peck and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those cabbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense 
a man of God comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings, tearing his jeans, sagging them. I mean, I'm not talking of a guest, some a little youth meeting or boot camp. This is the, the, the default. He's the overseer of the ministry. He comes with his glasses, comes and all. That is nonsense. It's a spirit of seduction. Hallelujah. A woman comes on stage and she's preaching. Half of the message, the brothers are not following. Their minds are, they are just struggling. Lord, I will make heaven. I need to grow. This is another balance. So let me balance it very quickly. Because there are a group of immature revivalists arising. In their bid to contend these things in the flesh. I just telling people, be as lawless as you can be. That's a sign that we are out of the law. There is a balance. We are a disciplined army. We are not idiots. Liberty is not rebellion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking, listen please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. For how that he was caught up into paradise and had what? Unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what? Is that in your Bible? That means all these ones that people go. Have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation, he tells them, seal this. It's for an appointed time. But now people come back with every message. This is deception. Are you getting my point now? There are a few people, however, who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point? I've had a lot of visions. I live in the realm of visions. I can never run ministry just based on visions. Ask the leaders. Every time I see anything, no matter how authentic the experience is, the word of God must prove it, not confirm it. Prove it. Prove it. The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest, you see Bibles there. Because since it's Bible you want, they keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell, they say, lay your hands on the Bible and swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What do I talk about again? I want to show you something. One other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws. I said it. Everybody say it after me, both inside and outside. Spiritual laws abound. They exist. They are real. 
as real as physical laws look at me do you know why god did not kill cain when he sinned because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work are you getting my point and those laws will catch up with him are you following me now when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it are you getting what i'm saying curses are real yokes are real manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real they are very real listen these are spiritual laws what light does for us is to tap into what christ has done and exempt ourselves are you getting me let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray that does it for today just one scripture i want to show you a scripture psalm 64 let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was the psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity verse 3 hmm. who wet their tongue like a sword that means these guys speak certain things and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words verse 4 he said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not verse 5 it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they come they commune of lyingness privately they say who shall see them six they do what they sat out who are these people that search out they go to an extent where did they write it that they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families are you following me now this is in your bible they search out iniquities he said they accomplish a what diligent search they are meticulous when god opened my eyes to this it surprised me are you getting my point now have you read that word blotting out every handwriting so there are handwritings correct there are ordinances the bible says they search out iniquities hallelujah maybe at another time i will continue this teaching of these angels that i told you because when they fell listen they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist 
look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and it fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once 
and I saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit. It was laughing. And I said, the Lord rebuke you. The protocol were here. And the, the lady jacked back up. Somebody would have said, thank you, Jesus. And he just get up and said, ah, that's it. And the demons would say, Kai, men of God of these days, they are not powerful at all. Say after me, the light of God is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the Holy Spirit I become a, an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening Yet we say, oh, it, there's, there's nothing wrong. I'm okay. Just declare that I'm okay. And you say, I'm okay. And the demons say, I'm fine too. I'm fine with you. I like this revelation you're having. I'm fine with it. But when light strikes. See, there are many of you based on this revelation. You will start calling home. And your parents will start telling you, what is this dream that I'm having? What is, you will see that there are shiftings. Know that it's a response to what is happening. It's already happening in some families right now. You are seeing it. You, something you just know, you can't explain. But you know that certain foundations, these demon spirits are saying, who is this? Who is this? This is le a level of light that is notable. And they, they begin to walk, but you see, light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ha ah, you bath yourself the child will say yes say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished bath and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, so, is a sign that something is wrong with you. Bishop, a pretty lady with nobody to marry her get it into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet let's pray i want us to take some time please pray as you pray tonight sudden things will begin to happen in your life please everybody participate in the prayer as you pray tonight something will begin to happen in your families
you will begin to feel the spiritual shift the devil must give up on you this year and your family members hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues please instrumentalists help us hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues please pray seriously prayer is a spiritual law it has nothing to do with convenience you're not filled with the holy ghost as we pray let the power of god come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries Please pray. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Rekoto prekete leba kapa taka tabra gele balada dabash. Rekoto broska pakata leka tabra kete leka maka brosko prende kozeba. Every second lebo kosho prekete balada ba. Mabra tosko pa indekea. Egresko prekete leko tos maka prakata leko tos prekete balada ba. Meke broske talia ba. Arise, arise by light. By revelation, arise, shake up darkness, shake up darkness, reketeko prekete leketeka, pray and say I'm changing, I'm changing, my status is changing, reketeke lebaha, there's no more decline, I'm on my way to better days, to the life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding. This age long puzzle is opening. Rekete kete kokoto balada bakada bara. Nam rakata balada bash. Rekete kere boso prekete. Come on. Pray in the spirit. Activate breakthroughs in the spirit. You are praying out of the depth of revelation. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. A sacrifice prayer is a sacrifice it's not about convenience it's about a higher revelation hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number one you are going to pray hallelujah and you are going to say lord i dispel darkness out of my life are you hearing me you're going to say lord by the light whatever represents darkness in my life it bows tonight lift your voice and pray it could be sickness in your body it could be a yoke of bondage satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permit him pray let light shine god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus. Let there be light. 
Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Prophesy. Light. Light to my family. Light. Prophesy. Light to your exams. Light to your academics. The powers that be. They must bow tonight by the force of revelation. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall live by every revelation. Revelation brings life. It brings light. It brings power. Pray. Babylon is falling. That corrupt system. That secrecy of evil. That genetic code of wickedness. That is responsible for the life that people are living. The wickedness, the pain. Cause that system. That dragon must fall by a rod of a higher priesthood. This is not the ironic priesthood. Our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of Melchizedek. It's a priesthood of glory. It's a priesthood of power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying. You are going to mention every area of your life. One by one. And you are going to say, Lord, the chains, they are broken tonight. While we sing, play that song, break every chain. Many of you will be surprised at the testimonies you will have. These are not testimonies that are happening by mistake. You know how they are happening. So you can reproduce it in the life of others. Lift your voice. Chains. I prophesy. Be broken. Chains of delay. Chains of delay. Chains of barrenness. Chains of fear. Chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains. Chains of pornography. Chains of masturbation. Chains of wickedness. Chains of sickness. Chains of joblessness. Chains of failure. Chains of witchcraft. Break every chain. By the power of the blood of Jesus. Break every chain. We contend by revelation. We storm the gates of hell. We storm the gates of hell. By the power of light. We storm Babylon. We prophesy your doom in our lives. Babylon the great. Falling. Babylon the great. Falling. prayer points hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please pair yourselves into two the bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way we are going together. I can't go and allow my sister. Who will save them? You can't go and let your loved ones die like that. Are you getting my point? That prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this. You are going to pray. Confront every darkness in your family. You know the darkness. Lift your voice and pray. The darkness of witchcraft and culture. I contend. Come on, pray. There's no pretense in this place. Pray. Our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. We confront you knowing that we have authority. We expose the doers of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is
responsible for death, for barrenness, for miscarriages, for failure. Pray that limitation of poverty, confront poverty, that spirit, that yoke, that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for your financial tragedy. Confront it. It must bow to the power of light for the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend. Prophesy a recovery. Prophesy a recovery. I call back opportunities for my family. I call back spiritual sovereignty. I call back the finances. I call back the joy. Hallelujah. One more prayer point and we're done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, let your light shine. People must be liberated. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. Listen. Hear me inside and outside. Every one of you who comes for this meeting, your coming alone is a miracle. Are you hearing me? If you know the powers of darkness that if they had their way would stop you from hearing what you are hearing ask the people that come for counseling 90 percent of them tell you the morning for counseling something stops them or an accident and they almost capsize. the devil hates light he loves argument he loves religion but this year we are storming the gates of hell. Are you getting my point? A fearless generation. There are things that must be recovered. There is the destiny, the soul of the nation that we must recover. But it must start from us and our families. This is why we invest time to pray. We know the kind of ministry God has given us. That's why we pray. Are you getting my point? That's why we have a strong and healthy prayer department. We are not carried away by success. We are not carried away by crowd. We are not carried away by rema. Listen, when God commits to you, the transformation of the destinies of men, you must take it seriously. We are going to pray for koinonia. We are going to say, light, shine. Shine! Let the works of evil be exposed. Let believers be empowered by the light of God's word. Let this place remain Bethel, the place of bread, the place of light. We will pay the price, whatever it takes to access the depths of the spirit. We will pay the price. We will pay the price for the sake of destinies. Pray. Our heavens remain open in the name of Jesus. This remains a place of breakthrough, a place of signs, wonders, deep mysteries of the kingdom. Our messages go far. They cause revivals in campuses, in families, in cities. Let the angel of the Lord that goes with our messages we command that the angels of God arise for our sake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the power of God that validates the truth, the potency of God's word. 
so at some point in this service we should expect the power of God to find expression not just in people you know receiving impartations here and they're wonderful but we expect the power of God to heal the sick we expect the power of God to cleanse all kinds of unclean people who are cohabiting with demon spirits that are manipulating their lives and manipulating their results at some point in this service we should see the superiority of light over darkness is that true at some point in this service god should be able to step over your issue to see that that 10 year long issue just dissolves like this just like that is that true if that happens then we can say with all sense of gratitude that we are an extension of the ministry of jesus but listen to me brothers and sisters if this does not happen we are wasting god's time and we are wasting the time of god's precious people that's why we prepare for all of the meetings especially the miracle service because you have not just come to watch a man you have come to see an extension of the ministry of jesus you have come with your requests you have come with your medical reports you have come with your pain you have come with all kinds of oppression you have come with all kinds of closed heaven and you're saying lord if you are the only one i know who can help me let me tell you your coming is faith enough did you hear what i said you're leaving your house to come is faith enough it's true like a patient goes to the hospital once you are in the hospital just leave the rest to the doctor then the doctor begins to prescribe and this is what is happening to us an extension of the ministry of jesus let's look at one scripture mark chapter 1 21 mark chapter 1 and verse 21 and they went into capernaum still the ministry of jesus and straightway on the sabbath day he entered the synagogue and taught it's interesting how jesus held his crusades he would take out time not just to preach but to teach jesus knew that teaching was the system for sustaining anything that the people were to receive are we together if the entire scope of ministry is just miracles alone it, it becomes volatile the people receive it and then it just evaporates but when they are taught it guides their understanding to keep that which they have received you can lose something you have received it's true you can lose healing demons can leave people and re-enter them again but when the word of god is taught it gives you the basis are we together now so jesus taught in their synagogues we're reading it's, it's a long reading let's see how far we can go just keep just continue and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue i love jesus see how his miracle service was as soon as he just finished preaching it was time to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom and there was in that service a man with an unclean spirit and the demons began to cry out 24 saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us we know who you are the holy one of god and so on and so forth and jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace and come out of him this is jesus for you this is jesus for you because that man's life was obviously in shambles because there was another spirit that was cohabiting with that individual manipulating his intentions and jesus looked at him this does not reflect the kingdom and he brought that spirit out like it's going to happen to many people the forces and the spirits that are responsible for the results we do not want but keep seeing until they leave all these things are a joke when the unclean spirit had turned him he cried out in a loud voice and he came out of him 27 we're reading down to i think it was 39 or so i just want us to walk through the ministry of jesus and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority he commanded even the unclean spirits and they do obey him let me tell you this 
when you command an unclean spirit and it goes it is a big deal did you hear what i said <laughs> doctors can treat sickness they can cast out devils machines can show an elongated lung or heart but it cannot show the spirit sitting there are you hearing what i'm saying these spirits are living entities they can hear they have a system and a structure they were designed to respect some people and disobey some people are we together they understand ranking in the spirit so when you issue a command as jesus did and these spirits are forced against their will to leave that individual and that habitation is proof of dominion are we together yes it is it truly is proof of dominion look at jesus used this the people were astonished they said our priests and rabbis didn't do this they couldn't do this i hope you know that while all the priests used to preach that man was in the temple and the spirits were hearing but the words were not potent enough to force them to leave so they kept coming service after service may you not be a man of god that cohabits with demons and that people come and sit under your anointing and under your meeting and the demons that cause poverty failure whatever it is you share the grace and they share the grace with you and you go out no sir Haba. what then is the excellency of light over darkness your presence should discomfort the gate of hell so well that there is no pretending about it that's why some of you bring people here you notice you bring them and when they sit down while praise and worship is happening they want to run away it's not them it's not them the devil knows that when you come into an environment that can bring you emancipation satan will revolt and fight and fight again and again but tonight the devil is a liar it's too late really it's too late 28 and immediately his fame spread abroad all through the region round about galilee and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john let's see what happened and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her now jesus is healing we saw him cast out devils he's about to heal now and he came and took her by the hand i love jesus and lifted her up and how many how long immediately. immediately do you know if jesus did not touch her she would remain like that and you would think it's the will of god don't trivialize an anointed hand goodness jesus walks in and says i'm introducing something to this woman's body that until the arrival of that thing the condition does not change that contact the bible says immediately the fever did what that means the fever was a living thing it could move abba is it, are you not intelligent people the fever left pastor alpha left me before jesus came the fever was with her they gave it all kinds of interpretation jesus look at what jesus did he didn't talk he just touched the bible didn't say they shall lay hands on the sick and speak just by making contact alone are you seeing that now some it was about the transference of virtue and it forced the spirit there was a separation that means the discomfort you feel is because there is something with you are you getting what i'm saying now yes that means that growth that swelling is a sign that there is something with you ah but the hands of jesus extended through us you see that I, I'm, I'm creating expectation in you that means that pile would never have been piled until a spirit came in partnership with your body and just saying pile go is not what will, will make it go there is an agency that will separate you from that pile you will call it a miracle there is no reason to remain sick when the spirit has been separated look at it immediately 
not slowly. So the question is not whether you can be healed. The question is whether the anointing is sufficient to separate that spirit. Because when it happens, the Bible says immediately. And she was so healed, she went straight to the kitchen. Straight to the kitchen from a bed. And he came and took her by the hand and brought unto him all that were there at even when the sun did set. Like Koinonia now, they brought unto him. That means there was an information that had reached town. That when we bring certain people to this man, there was something about him that was able to heal them. They brought unto him all that were what? Diseased. And them that were possessed with devils. See the kind of people that came to Jesus. As a man of God, if these kinds of people are not coming to you, it's not the issue of I'm not called into this ministry. Something is wrong. Because they should discern that the hand of God upon your life should function in a pattern similar to that of Jesus and should make them bring certain people. There are there are creative dimensions that his anointing can bring. Creation is needed when there is no possibility of having that reality again. Then you create it. Not everyone may be sick, but let me tell you something. Everyone needs the hand of God. There are some of us, our heavens are closed totally. And don't act as if it's not important. Nobody is favoring you. No open door. You are born again, but your life and your door and destiny is closed. Can you trust God to open this door for you? It's not by might. It's not by power. You heard the testimony of, of uh, Joy. She said an uncle who does not even call her. Something made that uncle call, brothers and sisters. Because that uncle also has relatives somewhere. Everybody who blesses you has someone in need around him. What makes him to leave them and come to you? No. Are we blessed? One question I'll ask you and then we'll begin to pray. Are you truly tired of the situation? You see, there's something I think I was sharing with. I can't remember who I was sharing this with. I was saying pain. It was you, Jimmy. Pain is very important. Sometimes the only way to let people serious is allow that pain. Don't stop it. Because there are people, if you have not been pushed to the wall, you will not see the need for God. For as long as there is somebody answering your prayer for you, you will not see the need to be serious. So sometimes God deliberately allows it. And that pain... The day five of your children said, Daddy, is this how we'll continue? You just get up and say, I'm coming for Koinonia today. I'm, I'm tired of this. That pain was an indication that something is wrong. And that it needs remedy fast. Pain. There are people who never run and come to God. But you just press one side of your stomach. And you just feel, ah, something is growing. What is this? Next week, the thing increased. You told a doctor, just touch it and say, ah, I don't want to tell you the name. Pain. Just say, when is that miracle service served? The power of God is real. It can produce miracles. It will produce miracles in your life tonight. Do you believe it? I expect that not only would God heal the sick, not only will he cast out devils listen carefully i expect that tonight by his spirit he will lift you out of certain captivities lack of favor delay there are some of us who are trusting god to return certain things that left your life for years whoever told you it cannot you heard the lady that said they stole her phone they came with matchet and stole her phone i remember she sent me a text that they came to carry a matchet. Foolish thieves. They don't know that a body without a spirit is dead. The same way you have been carrying a certificate. That's the body. Where is the spirit component? That's why you drop it on a table and they throw it in a dustbin. 
but when the spirit component comes let me tell you this god never designed a man to do anything on earth unassisted a spirit entity must assist you even you if you meet a herbalist that herbalist is not alone there is a spirit assisting him you see that yes don't walk through life by your strength and power please help them life will be too hard for you this is the mystery of hardship rejecting the assistance of the spirit i would dare not do ministry without a spirit what else will i be doing but with god with god all things without him you are on your own but when you involve him and not only involve him go a step further by letting him lead the way then your life becomes a wonder i'm showing you many of you are surprised the same surprise was in the bible they were astonished what manner of man is this astonished and then the man if he's wise will tell you look i'm not alone jesus said i'm not alone all these miracles you see i'm being assisted brothers and sisters the result you see in this ministry is a product of assistance the realm of the spirit is in partnership you can't be standing here and someone is shouting outside shouting at overflow no no Habba. words are not hammer but when the spirit is upon them that word will enter you like a drug and all of a sudden you will find out that certain things will go <laughs> it will work in zaria it will work in lagos it will work in london it will work in saudi arabia it will work everywhere are we together the spirits that oppress us must give way I'm, gi I'm taking out time to charge your heart like this because I want you to receive the most important thing is not the ministrations as it were the most important thing is creating this expectation many of us come and we are just hoping um, okay God I know you will bless me in the name of Jesus may God lift you amen I just, well, it was a nice service and you go back and nothing happens you keep watching people come to testify blessed is she that believes the Bible says for unto her not unto them there shall be a performance hallelujah I believe the Lord I came here full of the Holy Ghost and I came here believing with all my heart you are sick get ready to be healed don't 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 say well let's watch and see get ready to be healed you are oppressed of the devil you may not even know you are oppressed you just know that nothing is working in your life I want you to be tired and say God will you bring me here so especially for those of you who came so far lord will you carry me and bring me here and take me back like that there are some of you in ministry you came to contact fire lord will you leave me will i leave my members my fellowship and come back here and go back no evidence of favor i believe him i believe that he's a mighty man i believe he's awesome i have seen his hand I have seen his power and ladies and gentlemen I present to you the same God yesterday today forever I present to you the same healer yesterday today forever I present to you the same deliverer I present to you the one who took Joseph from the prison overnight I present to you the one who turned Saul to the apostle. I present to you the one who turned Rahab to be part of the genealogy of Jesus. I present to you your destiny changer. I present to you your destiny maker. I present to you the anointer of men. The one who puts oil upon the head of ordinary people and changes their lives. I present to you the prosperer. The one who can program a climate of favor over a man as though you are holding a child. I present to you the one who can give you influence, can lift you from nothing and make your life a wonder, a specimen, an epistle of his hand. That's the God I present to you. I have given a very nice speech. We're about to step back and allow the king of glory 
ride over this place and let me watch the mountain that stands before him let me watch Zerubbabel oh, no no he said who art thou mountain who art thou mountain who art thou infirmity who art thou delay who art thou stagnation before Zerubbabel he said before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain your hands I want to pray the Lord is starting tonight with an impartation there is an impartation of the grace for favor this is what the Lord is telling me the grace for favor the grace I'm about to pray for favor Favor is a revelation that God has given me. My life is a testimony of that reality. I want to pray for you now. Believe. Believe as I pray. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now. Father. Even as you have revealed to me. From this main auditorium. To overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. And those online Lord I release an impartation for the grace for favor receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus I stretch my right hand and I decree and declare step into a new level of favor 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 we need favor in our lives most of the things we pray about are under the office of favor to solve I say it again in the name of Jesus every challenge in your life that only the favor of God can solve I stand before the God who has helped me and has helped this ministry I release upon you an oil of favor take it now in the name of Jesus take favor take favor receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ a strange dimension of favor favor that will surprise you favor that will accelerate your life when a life listen to me when a life has no favor it is clear the proof of lack of favor is the absence of helpers in your life not the absence of money you can have money you can have intellect you can have a job but when there are no men in your life you don't have favor the proof of favor is not the coming of money the proof of favor is the rapid response from men to attend to the issues of your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that the men that must show up in your life to validate the grace for favor I prophesy them upon you now I call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus upon your business upon your job upon your projects may men arise to help you hallelujah hallelujah there is the grace for favor those of you who are on the social media may have heard of a testimony that 
had been trending for a while. I traveled to Lagos last week and just when we got down from the aircraft on my way going, listen carefully, something is happening here. A young man just walked to me and held me and I looked at him and he said, sir, remember me? I said, well, I don't remember you. What's the story? He came here, Koinonia, with a property, his property, and carried it and gave me as a seed. I said, what for? I mean, you're a young man. What will you go and tell your wife? Brothers and sisters, from November till now, nine properties and one estate came to him. A young guy. Abba. Is it charm? What is on you is what brings things to your life. It's not what you want. It is what is on you. In the name of Jesus, that anointing that must come on you, I declare that it comes on your head right now. It comes upon your head right now. Producing strange results. It comes upon your head right now. It comes upon your head right now. Just follow me. Some of you don't know how you need favor. You know you need favor, but you don't know what extent. I can't imagine that there are human beings that live on this earth without favor. You will never be able to be happy on earth. No. I can you check let's check our lives the truth is for many of us there is no favor it's not that the helpers are not there there has to be something on you to bring them every lifting that God has brought by his grace happened in this Zaria not London Zaria here many of us live unrewarded lives because there is nothing on you drawing men to bless you nobody thinks about you God does not talk to anybody about you a gentleman I think one of these uh, I can't remember one of these Fridays and he stood to see me after the service and he said man of God my life is hard can you help me with some money and I looked at him I said you are not a wise gentleman I know you need money now but you should ask yourself the person giving you the money where did it come from the wiser prayer is for favor. I said, let's do an experiment. I told him, I said, I will pray for you for favor. Return next Friday and tell me what happened. If nothing happens, I will give you money. Agreed? He said, yes. And I prayed for him and he went. Brothers and sisters, on Monday, Monday, that's the Monday after, that gentleman sent me a text. And he said, his uncle, that he's even fighting with their father that he did a very serious transfer and told him that who helps you in school and he said nobody he said so why have you not been reaching me all of you these proud children and so on and so forth that he was going to start sending him money i said you you believe that that uncle just did it by his will listen this world is too wicked for somebody to just like you that's flattery this wicked world where a man can slaughter a child's head then what makes you believe they will just like you? Enough to see that you rise. It takes favor. Can I pray that prayer for you again? In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, you have done your best. You have done your efforts. You have struggled. It's almost killing you now. Receive the grace for favor. Receive the grace for favor. May your life change by favor. Receive the grace for favor. Hallelujah. It is favor that brings resources. It is favor that brings opportunity. There are many gifted people. There's no one to reward them. There are many nice people, many wonderful musicians, nobody to place a demand on their grace. It's so annoying when you see someone you are better than, but he has favor and you don't. And yet you have to say yes, sir. Her man did.
did not think Mordecai was good enough but favor and he said everywhere you see the chariots of Mordecai bow the knee Mordecai is passing yes a gatekeeper you may not like a person but when favor is on them it will veto whatever you think I pray for you again every door that must open in this season to validate favor I command it to be open now I command it to be open now listen you're not going to build a house by savings let me tell you the truth it's not in today's Nigeria you're not going to buy a car by saving now practice all these things you're not going to to settle and train your children just by saving money you will need a grace that can accelerate your results otherwise you will never be a giver you will never you can't be a giver just by saving peanuts 10 naira and 100 naira when there is a demand life will demand so much from you that if you are not operating under favor you will be frustrated and that's how satan wants to trap men he would trap you and make your life miserable let's release this favor on our families you have received it for yourself but let it get to your family i pray for you in the name of jesus christ my father every family that is represented here by the anointing of the holy spirit let there be a release of favor let there be a release of favor favor on every family favor on every family listen sometimes eh it is not warfare that destroys it is even how favor works favor can kill to make sure that one person rises some of these proud relatives that make fraternities with darkness and sit upon the destinies of families and make boasts and say for as long as we are there you must route your success through us if you attempt to rise without us you will not rise i declare that the sword of favor may it get to every family and dislodge everybody who wants to be god in that family hallelujah favor in one minute I want you to begin to mention all the areas you want to see favor and speak lift your voice begin to pray begin to pray participate Lord I release favor concerning this job pray I release favor I release favor favor concerning my building project Like a shield, you surround us with favor like a shield. Pray, make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus. Favor like a shield. Favor in my academics, pray. Favor over my job. Lord, favor, favor, favor. hallelujah listen let me tell you the truth you see ba this prayer you are praying if this prayer is truly answered in your life this is how you will stand what is this this favor prayer you see there are people who have touched of this favor they can tell you favor is fearful in its operation is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they carry the crippled man I don't deserve the palace he says still come and the king said you will sit here and eat with me 
let me tell you how you know it is favor listen favor is not one time when somebody just says hey jimmy i want to give you water what that's just goodness favor is i want to keep blessing you i want to continue doing this many of us what happens is that we're mistaking goodness for favor someone just appear once and just says look i want to help you and it never happens again when it is favor a process is ignited it keeps following like that it's true study the things in your life you'll be able to separate goodness from favor there are things that just happen one time but favor favor continues so i'm seeing fire on my hands and i want to pray because the lord wants to bless the works of our hands listen whether you're on a job or whatever it is you see these hands you see they are it's a mystery it says the the hand of god it was with this hand god made man are we together now this hand you see is a symbol of your productivity and if it is not blessed it will bring struggle to you i want to pray I'm, I'm seeing fire on my hands and i want to pray because for many of us who are getting results but our results are too small i stretch these hands the fire that the lord put upon this hand in the name of jesus i release it let it come upon your hands let it come upon your hands representing your job your academics your business whatever it is that you're involved in i release i stretch my hands may that may that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ you go back with that hand and write a proposal and it will shock you what will happen you go back with that hand listen listen believe this and pick up a document and submit and someone collects it and is under the influence of what your hand brought it's true it's true why does god do these things to give us rest so we can serve him why does god open doors to give you rest financial frustration and all kinds of related frustrations are strategies from satan to distract you and make you to keep seeking things you never will truly be able to seek god when certain things have not been solved in your life it's true you can't give god your best when you are still thinking of what to eat you are thinking of what to wear but when God takes those things away, your prayer life becomes worship, not just hours of petition in the flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow 2. There's someone, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on someone, overflow 2, the overflow by the roadside. Bring the lady. Hello, him Adonai. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Overflow to the overflow by the road. Please, quickly. We have to hurry up. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Can I talk to you, madam? This woman, please tap her for me. Come. Hello, him There is a spirit that doesn't want this woman to rise. Hello, him Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. 
Lord is opening the eyes of your parents. I'm seeing the Lord opening their eyes to a realization of something the devil has been using. In the name of Jesus, especially for this lady, I command it so now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every conspiracy of darkness over you and your family is hereby crushed to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I don't know who you are, but let me pray for you. There is a spirit. I look at you and I see a woman who should be walking in certain realms of favor. You love the Lord, but this is like it's like a trap you just cannot move and make progress and the lord is saying i should pray for you as i pray for you madam you will be surprised to see what happens in your life hold my hands father in the name of jesus christ i release this woman in the name of jesus christ i release this woman right now in the name of jesus christ i release this woman the devil has put something in this lady's stomach this lady you are holding i command in the name of jesus remove that evil you have put now in the name of jesus christ i'm about to pray and i'm already seeing a vision of what will happen there will be such a massive 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 deliverance now let it not surprise you i've explained to you what this thing is it's a separation you should rejoice when it happens because it means that you are entering a new season 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 In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Spirit is around this area. A new season. A new season. God is breaking something here. A new season. A new season. A new season. Someone is entering it right now. A new season. A new season. Young lady, you are entering a new season. A new season by the Spirit. A new season. A new season. A new season. A new season. A new season something is breaking breaking i don't need to walk everywhere i'm just walking as the holy ghost is leading me a new season something is breaking 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 a new season there is a cloud of glory there is a cloud of glory a new season no force can stand it in your life there is an anointing here there is an anointing here a new season something is breaking here right now in the name of Jesus something is breaking here in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus receive it something is leaving you something is leaving you it must go shake it take it take it take it shake it take it take it and take a name of new season new season I stretch my hand, something is breaking here. There's someone an anointing is coming on you, breaking a limitation right now. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit, leave that lady now. In the name of Jesus. Command every 
every spirit I'm going to pray for you listen listen as I pray for you listen it doesn't matter where you are provided there is a spirit entity that is waging war in your life let me tell you the truth by the God whom I serve as I make this declaration the words will live like a sword from me and it will come and create that separation I want you to bring them out overflow one two three wherever in the mighty name of Jesus the God of Jeshurun I decree and declare that every force sitting on your destiny as you count three as you count Jesus at the count of three let there be deliverance one two three let them go now let them go now witchcraft manipulations of darkness in the name of Jesus I command a separation through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit I decree I set it as an ordinance in the spirit I announce liberty liberty bring them out Christ if there is any family that has been covenanted to any elements of the supernatural whether the earth whether fire that people pass through fire to make ordinances at the count of three I command those ordinances set on fire one two three let there be liberation right now every family covenanted waters covenanted to the air to trees I set you free now And I'm seeing or your state or your state this is the hand of God the sword of the Spirit going to or your state bringing deliverance there are times that God moves this way in the name of Jesus I command whoever is from that region may the power of God begin to touch you now may the power of God begin to touch you now complete liberty complete liberty complete liberty Overflow three, please lift your hands. Just watch your screen and lift your hands. Overflow three. Don't worry, you you that you, you don't have to bring them. The distance is far. Overflow three, just look at me. I see the angels of the Lord doing something there. At the count of three, overflow three. I want you to shout the name Jesus because I'm seeing swords. That's what I'm seeing, and the Lord is bringing a massive, massive breakthrough, massive deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus, overflow three, are you ready? I'm seeing chains of stagnation about to leave you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, 
everyone under any kind of oppression at the count of three shout Jesus one two three supernatural liberty supernatural liberty and outpouring of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly hold on guys hold on hold on hold on please i want to pray the lord is showing me something that is very interesting the lord wants to break cycles there are people every season certain things happen every september somebody must die every three three years somebody married must divorce in the name of jesus lift your hands you don't have to ask whether or not you are involved don't worry the anointing will look for you i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus the power that activates cycles demonic cycles over the lives of people so that certain patterns and events keep repeating themselves in the name of jesus i stretch my hands call that lady back that lady lift your hands my dear god is not done with you i look at you and i see oppression there is something that the devil has put in you if i don't pray for you very soon they will start telling you you start feeling pain they will say fibroid in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now in the name of jesus christ every cycle over anyone's life are you ready to shout jesus now at the count of three to surprise you what god will do one two get ready three the chain of cycles be broken cycles cycles of failure cycles of miscarriages cycles of unfruitfulness by the sound of the spirit be broken now hallelujah be broken now i want to pray um please this man i don't know who the this man yes please quickly we are soon going to pray for the sick i may not have time to prophesy to individuals i'm standing near this lady and i'm seeing a snake this is what I see in the name of Jesus. I curse that devil. I'm not seeing a human being. I'm seeing a snake. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Overflow one. I'm seeing the power of God. This I just mentioned snake. And I was seeing serpents. Just moving at overflow one. Right now, I'm seeing it's like a sword dividing those snakes. That's what I'm seeing. It's happening to people at Overflow 1. In the name of Jesus, let it be over now. Snakes and scorpions. The mystery, the mystery of snakes and scorpions. He said, I give you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. Sir, I want to pray for you. I don't know whether you came here for us. Here, you have been but, coming here uh, but i was tra i traveled before that so i have not been coming i want to pray for you yes sir if i don't pray for you the devil is going to kill you i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you inside a coffin they have already closed you i'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you you love jesus be careful so that they don't bring these herbal things for you huh yes, uh, is that true yes sir looking at you and i'm seeing them bring something for you to yes. help you yes sir that thing is a charm yes sir. it's not half it's charm yes. native yes. doctor yes sir huh? yes, that's sir. what will even kill you yes, sir. it's not going to solve your problem yes, sir. the people doing it are well-meaning yes, but the truth is that they are going to kill you for nothing yes, sir. Yes, sir. thank you sir because you are not even responding to it the way they say you should respond to it yes, and you violate it will destroy you yes, sir. can i pray for you you have you have taken something in your system now that we wouldn't destroy you listen let me tell you when you are pressed we are humans and we can be pressed to the wall going to the devil to get a charm is is you are facilitating your destruction if satan gives you tea here he will hold a knife and stab you at the back father by the mercy of god i pray for this man let him not die 
in the name of Jesus I close the gate of the grave over your life in the name of Jesus both the herbalist and the conveyor of those charms in the name of Jesus we scatter that shrine into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you sir the Lord perfects you in Jesus name I pray something is leaving this lady oh dear she's vomiting I'm looking at her and I'm seeing something Agnes God is not done with that guy or that young man with blue please if you are not Agnes don't come here please your name is Agnes where are you from I need to pray for you I'm seeing an attack on your life this attack is coming from Calabar huh are you hearing what I'm saying yes, I have to pray for you where are you from cross river you are from cross river yes sir. Come. I must pray for you Kai. there is somebody the Lord is setting the person free I'm seeing a friend going to a herbalist and they are asking the friend to give somebody and they wrote the name of that person you are here now in the name that is above all names I'm serious don't think I'm just hyping you in the name of Jesus whoever's name has been written by any demonic friend or whatever herbalist in the name of Jesus because that person you keep seeing dead dead people you even saw yourself in a coffin in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit now I'm going to pray for you and then we are going to pray for the sick right now ah. there is some serious deliverance I'm, I'm seeing something happening in the realm of the spirit this is this is this is a serious Father, let this lady be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, you, this lady, come. You love Jesus? Huh? Yes, sir. Come. You, I, I'm not condemning you, eh? Look at me. You have to be very serious with God. One, two, friends. Look at me. God has delivered you many times. You would have destroyed yourself. Huh? You're a small girl. You need to love God with all your heart. Please be very careful so you don't go and put yourself in something that will destroy you. I love you. Eh? I love you. And that's why I'm telling you this. You need, you need somebody to counsel you and follow you up. Hmm? I'm not going to say everything I'm seeing, but you have to be careful because it's God that saved you now. I'm seeing something, a virus. Anyway, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray for your daughter. Help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm standing and I'm seeing a tree. And that tree is this lady. And something that was planted. And the Lord is saying uproot it. I uproot this thing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot it now. The spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway State. I've never been there physically, but I'm seeing Benway, Benway, and I'm looking and I'm seeing like a tractor pushing trees down. It's like there is a covenant that has to do with trees. In the name of Jesus Christ, if there is any family involved in this, Sheketos Kotopa Karyakata, I command an uprooting. Every tree that has not been planted, help them by my father. Every tree I see Benway State in the mighty name of Jesus let there be an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting in the name of Jesus let me pray for you my dear you are a nice lady but there's bad luck in your life very bad luck and the Lord wants to help you 
Father, help your daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, bad luck be gone now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord help you. Come, my dear. Let me pray for you. I'm about to pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are some... My spirit is heavy to prophesy, but because we have to... I want us to pray for the sick so that I can just make those declarations. We may not have time for one-on-one -on -one prophecy, but I'm telling you, God wants to touch touch a lot of people my dear i want to pray for you in jesus name the lord is rolling away the reproach in your family rolling away the reproach in your family in the name of jesus my dear look at me you are entering a new level of lifting you that's what i'm praying for you for i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head and the lord is saying i should tell you that is a new level of lifting you this lady looking at me i prophesy it over your life in the name of jesus christ who is this who agnes agnes where is she abuja abuja sir your sister yes father in the name of jesus i pray for this lady where is she abuja sir she loves jesus yes sir in the name of jesus christ pray that no man will come into her life and destroy her eh in the name of is she married huh? in no. the name of uh, whatever it is in the name of jesus christ may god help you mama come let me pray for you it's your season of breakthrough come is this your child come boy come i'm looking at this boy and i'm seeing that god is going to use him this is a small boy boy how are you the, the boy doesn't even know but I'm going to pray for him. Samuel did not know that he would become a great prophet one day. When Eli, he was just an innocent boy. I'm going to pray for him. Mama, please stand up. I will pray for you. Look at me, ma. Please don't be embarrassed. But the Lord is saying he wants to take suffering from your life. This thing they call in house, Wahala. God wants to take it from your life. You are a very sincere woman that loves the Lord. But this, this cause of hardship... Um, this woman loves the Lord with all her heart. Father, you, what's, what's the name of this boy? Riba. Uh, lifted. Okay. Your name is Lifted? Yes. Father, I lay hands on Lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ, use him mightily. We are all products of your grace. Lift him and use him mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you this. The month of April is your month of strange breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. The month of April is your month of breakthrough. Azuka, come. Lift the camera first. Let me pray for you and then you keep the camera. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing a big project coming for you. And this project is going to lift you. This is something that has to do with your snapshot. But God is bringing someone. It's been something you have desired that God will bring someone to open a door. And truth, you have been faithful. You have even been serving in this house. But I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift him. Take him to that dimension of grace. I release that anointing upon you. It will no longer be an ordinary camera. I call forth men that will lift you. I command it so. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ open doors for you open doors for you in the name of jesus christ come this lady um sarah come there is witchcraft in your family i have to pray for you this thing is affecting everybody in the family everybody everybody not there's no exception everybody lord take away this plague of witchcraft in the name of jesus christ wonderful people beautiful ladies but all kinds of trouble from the pit of hell in the name of jesus christ i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser in the name of jesus christ 
We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen, I know that there are a number of people who came here sick and a number of you have come trusting God for healing and miracle. Let me pray for this lady. How many of you have your prayer request? Now lift it up, ushers, your prayer request. Those online, make sure we collect it. This, this lady, let me have her hands. Lord Jesus, let this trap of darkness over this family represented by this lady give way now in the name of jesus christ just hold her gently she'll be fine submit your prayer request quickly now we are going to pray for the sick don't allow any nonsense remain in your body no matter how small make sure you insist that it leaves make sure you insist that it leaves we are going to be very fast please will be very fast now let me say this when you stand to receive healing don't just stand and be staring as if you are sleeping let your heart be open are we together number two accept whoever is praying for you ask you what is wrong you don't have to say okay it is my ears or my don't worry don't worry the people praying for you have been trained and the anointing of the spirit will touch it doesn't matter what auditorium it's a corporate grace that is working here hallelujah and for all of us who are seated whilst this is happening make sure you are praying because I'm, I'm literally sensing as if i want to throw up is the spirit of prophecy there's there's something that the lord is putting in my spirit to release and that's why i want to pray for the sick quickly so that we'll pray this prophecy if we do this i'm satisfied in this service we have to be very fast so that we'll conserve time hallelujah jesus someone please help with collecting the request make sure that even those at the extremes of the road their requests are collected please everybody father in the name of jesus we pray by the ministry of the spirit several people serving as contact points but we pray that your power and your life will touch the sick lord your people have come some of them with incurable diseases some of them with all kinds of devils i decree and declare that your anointing will prevail over every challenge let your people return with testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please be seated while you pray for a while as we pray for these people pray spiritualize yourself make sure that you are submitting your request and make sure you are praying thank you jesus my beautifier you have taken away the shame taken away the pain you make my life so beautiful my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make me just like you my beautifier you have taken away The pain. Away the pain, make me just like you. Me just like oh, my beautifier, my beautiful. you are taking away, taking away the shame, taking away the pain.
Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu, Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu, Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu, Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu.
we have received all kinds of awe inspiring testimonies testaments of your life your power your might your faithfulness lord in this month of february we look to you again to surprise us lord represented here are the requests of people from several nations of the world and several across this nation in the name of jesus joshua selman cannot answer any man's prayer so lord i transfer the trust of your people to you the one who is able to meet every need and on the strength of the grace that only comes from you and in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the resurrected lamb the one who is most victorious i prophesy and i turn every request here to become a testimony in the name of jesus lord as i walk through these requests in the name of jesus that is exactly how your people walk through every challenge every challenge every challenge no matter what it is i decree and declare that the grace to triumph above it is released in the mighty name of jesus christ listen to me no matter what it is no matter what it is provided it found its way here in the name of jesus christ the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that receives the testimony the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that will receive the testimony there are people who need to lack sleep for these prayers to be answered may they lack the sleep there are people who need to be promoted for this prayer to be answered may they be promoted there are agents of darkness that must be laid to rest for these prayers to be answered may they be laid to rest in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray if they are still praying for you in any of the overflows don't worry you can just connect with them while I pray for you by the grace of God you will not write your request twice I thought I was done but I just felt drawn again to it whatever it is that you wrote here that requires a creative miracle that means the solution is not currently in existence anywhere may the one who created the heavens and the earth create your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you as long as God grants me the grace I will never stop prophesying over you it is the greatest thing I think I can do if I give a word of knowledge because I'm limited by time and I'm limited by my own understanding and my level of alignment to God I may not be able to accurately address everyone but when it comes to prophecy everyone can receive are we together now wherever you are you can receive you've heard the testimonies you've seen the things that happen the Bible says everyone who speaks let him speak according to the measure of grace there are some things this anointing can do and let's trust God that it happens in your life let's pray lift your hands father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that for everyone here who started this year in tears already that from January February you've not known joy I declare that as this week ends that's how your trouble and your sorrow ends too the Bible says no weeping endures for a night it says but joy comes with the morning I decree and declare the kind of testimony that will make you get down on your knees and say Lord I've seen you bless me but not this dimension may the God I serve release it to you anyone here jobless or trusting God for a better job in the name of Jesus 
between now and March miracle service, return with your miracle job. Return with your miracle job. Return with your miracle job. Anyone here due for promotion and whether based on tribal sentiments or whatever it is, you've been kept at a level. In the name of Jesus, I open the doors for you. Rise to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every manifestation of delay in your life. Others move forward, but when it gets to your turn, something just clamps you in one position. Or slow progress. Slow progress is as destructive as delay. I command speed to your life. I speak speed to your life. I prophesy speed to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare every advantage that the enemy has over your life. In the name of Jesus, this is the season where all those doors are closed forever. I pray for those in business here. I speak over it. The grace for multiplication, let it come upon your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those who are trusting God to correct certain things in their lives. It may be results for students. It may be something. It may be a mistake of the past. You've seen God correct things in strange ways here. I command supernatural correction for you. For every student here, that the result you are holding is not your real result. I don't care how long. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, we correct it right here. Anyone here involved in any kind of project, building project, whatever major project, you or your loved ones, I decree and declare, the finisher's anointing comes upon that project. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray over your finances. Listen, let me tell you this. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. He said, believe in his prophets so shall you prosper if you truly believe God will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you I give you two weeks from today in the name of Jesus Christ that between now and the next 14 days let something notable happen to your finances listen I don't want you to think as I'm praying, you are thinking, oh, God will use A, B. Leave whoever God will use to him. I'm not talking business. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. Between now and the next 14 days, may the lifter of men surprise you in your finances. Hallelujah. Every gift of the Spirit that you had once seen in your life, and for some reason is either depleting in the grace for dispensing it or not there again i prophesy supernatural activation right now supernatural activation right now the supernatural grace for soul winning drawing people to god a strange grace I will not give you peace until people are coming to Jesus through you. I release that grace over you. I release that grace over you. I release that grace over you. Take that grace now. The grace to validate signs and wonders that through your hand, listen, not just through Joshua Selman, in the name of Jesus, those hands that are stretched towards me, I prophesy to you the unction to walk in strange miracles receive it in the name of Jesus the grace to reproduce the miracles in this house 
I release that grace, young and old, male or female, receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life that as you utter words concerning the destinies of men, you will watch them come to pass with your very eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever needs to make peace with you, I decree and declare the grace of God compels them to make peace with you. Hallelujah. Whoever has been directed by God to bless you and the devil is stopping them from obeying God is not necessarily financial. It may be to bless you with an information, access, opportunity. Whoever is supposed to bless and lift you and in the name of Jesus the devil wants to stop them I clear the way for your contact with them in the name of Jesus anyone here who needs an urgent breakthrough maybe something that has to do with house rent or maybe something that involves the police just something that if God does not intervene the embarrassment is going to be serious I pray that between now and Sunday the God that I serve you may not see the wind you may not see the rain but brothers and sisters may my God step in and surprise you We're rounding up whatever has covered the glory of God upon your face so that people cannot see and partake of that grace and also reward you I tread that veil into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I pray for any and everyone here suffering from any kind of barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ by next miracle service you come back pregnant I say it again by next by next month miracle service you return with your baby in your womb in the name of Jesus the spirit that makes you see what you want but never hold it is close to you you see it they promise you and say by tomorrow i will do something then in the night something happens in the name of jesus everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand hallelujah finally i call your destiny helpers from the north the south the east the west whether they are in this country or outside this country i don't know how god will make them meet you but i declare they must meet you in the name of jesus they will not only meet you they will bless you in the name of jesus they will not only bless you they will continue blessing you I multiply dreams and visions and encounters in your life whatever has choked away your prayer life you used to pray for two three four five hours now you pray for 10 15 minutes you are drowsy you are tired it's an attack it is an attack it is the devil you used to be consistent but right now you wake up in the night you pray for 10 minutes you are snoring back in the name of Jesus tonight let there be revival upon your prayer life revival over your prayer life the appetite to study the word you once had it but it went away and for some of you you've not read your bible since last friday it's not that you don't want to the grace to make it happen is no longer there i command tonight may that fire for the word come upon you hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes 
and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.